right let's try this one out so there's a lot of cool channels out there playing world's drift and welcome if you haven't tried this game yet this video is for you I just want to run through a really quick not even a guide let's just get you started as fast as possible and avoid the worst uh, frustrations here yeah? right so first off there's it's a really good tip to pay attention to the in-game tooltips because the first thing we need to progress is knowledge as you probably know this game is about exploring drifting worlds and building airships you have a um, um, thing what's this thing called um, yeah what is it called um, I'm English is not grappling hook of course English is not my first language so please forgive any troubles I have pronouncing things now we can start off here before we leave this place and enter world's drift this is your character inventory and your belt is your life savior in your belt the things that are there are kept on your person when you die so keep your important stuff there schematics is where you find everything you can create items ship parts ship frames all of it now these items i can make what is this okay awesome i'm gonna check all this stuff out later but here are things you can create either in your inventory on an assembly or on the shipyard respectively knowledge this is what we're going to fi uh, find first we want to learn basics of shipbuilding because that's what this game is about isn't it so let's get rolling now do you like my new character I really like the the uh, the new look after the the open beta release no early access is not even beta anymore alright it's a bit foggy but as you can see some mantas are flying past on the side here and we are on a floating island amidst floating islands so let's lower ourselves down safely here and see what we can find right this is great right next to us is a mineral node let's first scan that with the scanner no no data never mind then you can't scan those things this rock you can scan like if I scan the ground I'm scanning the island and if you see in the lower right corner it says it's created by Nevis it's in the wilderness biome and the civilization that used to exist before the calamity was Saborian that's important but we'll get back to that later now when I scan this rock this rock is a thing scanning things gives you knowledge gained one knowledge Scanning this rock, which is a different rock, gives another knowledge. Now, if you want to mine nodes like this, you choose the mining tool and start mining away. And this one has been mined already, that's why it's half broken up and glowing. So I'm not thinking I'll find anything there. Nope, it's completely empty. Now, you right click to use your grappling hook. Your grappling hook is your best friend. Always be connected to something. There's no reason ever to <laughs> not be connected. Just in case you fall. If you double tap the jump button space while grappling something, uh, you get this boosted jump. Really useful. That has a cooldown of a couple of seconds, so you can't do it twice in a row. Nice to know and this is physics based everything is physics based so be careful when you're swinging around you'll probably want to avoid these cliff side nodes to begin with or at least be careful until you get the hang of the 
uh, swinging mechanism. Now you see that black rock there, that's what we're looking for. I'm guessing that is letter lead? No. What is that? Yeah, it's lead. Alright. They changed a little bit how it looks since last time I played. Now, in the beginning it's not that important what kind of metal you get. The thing is that you'll need a lot. A lot of metal of one type. A lead is very heavy. Oh, God damn. Come on. Lead is very heavy. So if you can choose, avoid lead to begin with. Uh, simply because weight is important when we're going to build our ship later. Oh, come on. I'm missing. Things that if I damage it too much, you'll see it at ev any second now. It's going to break apart now. It's all going to fall down. Before that happens, I want to take the uh, Atlas Stone. Okay, I'm really not... <laughs> I'm sucking so hard at this. I promised you a quick a quick guide, so let's just... Let's just take what we can until it breaks apart. I don't care. There we go. And it's lost. Whatever. Here's another node. They, they come in different shapes and forms, but you'll always see the small cracks. Just start cracking. I like these smaller ones, they're more compact, easier to get to. There we got the Atlas Shard, you have to pick that up, not mine it. So with the action key, E. Oh shit, it's gonna break apart. Come on, come on, there you go. Now iron is very good, it's very strong and it's not too heavy. Scanning this, one knowledge, scanning that, one knowledge, scanning this. This is what you want to do all the time, everywhere. Scan the trees, scan the things. Okay, it grants no knowledge. Scan every natural thing you find. And mine the trees, because we need wood. And again, it's physics based, so be careful getting hit on the head. Now you want to grab as much of the wood as possible. We'll need at least 500 to 1,000 wood. 1,000 is what's referred to as a stack. The maximum you can store in one's um, inventory slot. Now this is actually awesome. The fact that there's um, a shipyard here and an assembly station here means that we can uh, skip some resources. Now, what we really need to find are what you can see in the top left corner. The one in the middle there, it's a data bank. When you come to a new island, it's always the first thing you look for. But of course, Mine the resources, because why not? Now I'm uh, mining more of the same type of tree, because having 200 birch, the white tree, and 200 oak does not help you build something that needs 300 wood. Because it has to be 300 of the same type. Yeah, you probably got it by now. So, uh, scan. Three knowledge, very good. Scan, scan, scan. Can I scan this? Maybe. No, I cannot. Still worth it though. This I can scan, I know. Yep. Oh, I actually scanned it. Three knowledge th uh, there as well. Sometimes it doesn't understand that you are scanning something. Like, it doesn't hit. These are fuel containers. You don't really need them this early on, but you will need them later. Ah, always typical. Nice to have. Now you see glowing there? That's the Atlas Shard that you can pick up. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> My phone thinks I'm talking to it. Which 
is really creepy. Whoa, physics, yay. The manta rays, man. So nasty creatures. <laughs> They're pretty peaceful. Not necessarily, but pretty peaceful. As long as you just walk around silently. When you start firing up engines, they go ballistic. So we're getting a lot of good metals here, which is nice, we'll need that. We'll probably have enough soon, um, if we're not having to build our own uh, shipyard and everything. Come on, come on, there you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Scanning this one. Oh, FPS tank. <coughs> Shift to run, obviously. Oh, that is not a mineable resource. That's a scannable thing. There you go. Thank you. One knowledge. Come on. You have already gained knowledge from scanning this. If I've scanned that exact same object somewhere else, it doesn't grant any knowledge, unfortunately. So once you've scanned an oak, you've scanned an oak of that design. When you see a differently designed oak, it's a different item. I like to smash them open. How are we doing on the lead here? 350, 950 lead. Nice, nice, nice. Now, since normally I wouldn't take care of lead, but since this is what we are having so far, I'm also combining these because I don't care about the quality. It was split because it was wood of different quality, but at this stage in the game, not important. Later on, you can worry about qualities and types and all that stuff. But right now, we just want to get flying. Now let's see. Should have enough uh, wood after this, I think. <laughs> it's like I just one more tree, one more tree, always one more tree. This is a scannable one. Oh, missed it. One knowledge, thank you. Three knowledge, thank you. I always remove the lower part because then it falls more straight down. Uh, good tip for n avoiding losing too much wood to the abyss. Remember, we are floating above nothingness. Okay. Oh, that was ash. That was a waste. Didn't realize. Now, let's explore more inland. Let's go for that knowledge. You want to scan everything that looks like you haven't scanned it before always. This island did not have much to offer. Oh, here's some mushroom. Glowing mushroom, huh? Three knowledge, thank you. Ooh. Here was a big tree. Someone was recently here chopping down trees. It might have been me, I don't know. Let's see... Okay, let's see what's underneath the island. I can see there's some interesting stuff over there. Let's just have a quick look and see if there's anything here. Okay, there's tons here. Let's go. Oh, too fast. <laughs> too furious. But I can't seem to see any no data banks. A stone and a tree might give you one, two, three knowledge. A data bank grants up to 30, depending on what biome you're in. So we want to find that. And it doesn't seem like there aren't any data banks or any treasures like that down here. So let's go back up. Ow. Let's 
explore further. Scanning this. Scanned it before. Okay. Come on, this is a really boring island. We gotta get out of here, man. Now, I might be going in circles, but I thought maybe from up here I can get a better view. Hmm. The fog is really heavy. Okay, we're back here. Um, that forest was dense, but I couldn't see any buildings or anything of interest. What's down here? Like, we should, at least that's another island entirely. We should be able to find, like, by now we should have found at least one data bank. Did we scan these big things? I don't think. I was too distracted. Yay, one whole knowledge. But the size doesn't matter. It's just the item. These islands have been created by the community. Most of them, at least. Ooh. Chests are awesome. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Travel writings. Lore piece granted you 50 knowledge. Awesome. Also, gangster. Thank you. Now you can grab onto them, but be careful, they can pull you down. This is just compulsive. I don't need fuel at all right now. I need data. I need knowledge. Alright. What? Should we just go another round around the island to see what we can find? I think so. Again, really boring island. Want to get out of here as soon as possible. What is this? It is absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right. Let's find some knowledge. Like seriously, is it just hidden somewhere between the trees in here? It could be, man. It really could be. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Ooh, the ground is shaking. That does two important things. First of all, it damages all shipyards, which is why no shipyard is forever, unless you come back and fix it all the time. And it resets the island. Trees, minerals, chests, which is awesome. What it does not do is give me a goddamn map to the databanks. Like, I don't know how many databanks there are here. There could be three, four, five. It could also just be one, in which case we are boned. Ooh, I have enough knowledge just from scanning trees and stuff. Okay, that is awesome. That is why you always scan trees. Even though we haven't even found the databanks yet, we have enough to build a ship. And you know what? I think it is time. Because I'm fed up. Let's get out of here. Let's just get out of the forest so we get some space. Maybe we should repair that. Always grab on in case you fall because this is... <laughs> can't work with this. What is this? Ooh, what is this? This, this is something. This is what we're looking for. Nice. Ooh, by the way, roots. They can be scanned. Fre three knowledge. Oh, scan all the things, man. Scan all the things. Become knowledgeable. 
Oh, there's a bug in here. Those bugs are peaceful as long as you don't cut down trees. If those bugs see you cutting down trees, they will murder you. Five knowledge for scanning the bug. There are rocks, scan the rocks. Oh, so they made a campfire of stones. Each of these pieces are a separate piece, so <laughs> just <laughs> go crazy with the scanning. Each of these rocks is as important as the huge mountain rock outside. There we go. And how much knowledge do we have? Whoa, 86 knowledge just from scanning scr crap and nature and things. Nice. But this, this is the real juice, the mother load. 25 knowledge. Thank you very much. Nice. Unfortunately, no chests in here, but we are ready. Let's go. I'm guessing there are two or three more caves just like this one. And I'm falling down. Why am I falling down? Where am I going? All right. Ooh. It was here. I just didn't see it last time. Awesome. Okay, now we're having progression. Let's see. Now, we've completed the first two tasks, the <coughs> basics to get started. Now we build a ship. We've gathered wood, we've gathered metals. A mass. That's what I mean with a cooldown, by the way. <laughs> I always try to abuse it and it never lets me. Now, we do have enough, I think, to build everything from scratch, but it would be nice to not to save those materials. So let's see if I can find that shipyard that we saw earlier and repair that back up. No need, we found another, if it's not the same one. What are you made of? Are you made of iron? Yes. That is okay. I would like to use my iron for my ship instead of Gotham Shipyard, but for another time. We don't have enough iron anyways. Now, the repair tool automatically consumes the relevant material if you have it on you. Oh, I can't take it over yet. I have to learn shipbuilding. There we go. Oh, yeah. Like This map you'll get more familiar with later on, but there are four things to study. Engines, swivel guns, cannons, and wings. Uh, engines will be your first priority. Even though it takes much more to learn the first engine than anything else, it is the thing that changes the game for you. From going from a sail to an engine is everything. And then you just go about it as you like. Of course you can have a sail ship with 10 cannons on it, no problem. You build your ship your way. I just think you make it easier for yourself with uh, at least one engine to begin with. Now these four parts are upgrades and they are automatically learned as you go. So I have now learned, what is this, 5% of this one. And I need another 1,859 knowledge to learn the first upgrade to how much our ship can carry, the size of it. Now, can I use this? No, I need to repair it first. As I thought, I'm just going to repair, repair, repair until I can interact with it. Not gonna repair it more than I need to. There we go. Awesome. And this one, is this usable? Yep, perfect. Right. We are ready. First, we need a ship frame. So we go up here. Oh, it's so ugly. Um, and use E to enter and choose 
the dinghy, for example. Normally I would create my own schematics, but for the sake of this now, let's just not. Alright, we have... Uh, no, that's ash. That's oak. What a waste. It takes 120. Ash is heavy. Hard and medium weight. And very heavy. So I think the decks should be... Who cares? The medium weight. We're gonna change them out at, at some other time anyways. Now I would normally not use lead for this, but I don't care. Let's go. Now the ship is being built by the schematics with the frame and the floors. That's it. Nothing else. While that is building, we will need not the engine, not the decoration, we will need an Atlas Sky Core. There we go. Lead for the in internals. I, the best thing for internals is gold or copper or something like that. I'm going lead. And then iron. You know what? Let's just go heavy all out and see how that works out. Craft Atlas Core. Oh, look at that. Now, when you start creating a ship on a shipyard, you get a bubble around you. Now, other players can see this so easily from far away. But within this bubble, you can't be shot with cannons, as far as I know. You can grab onto the bubble, which makes it a lot easier building your ship. Because that is done manually. Oh. And... Uh, your ship is quite secure as long as it's in um, in a shipyard. Okay, um, just gonna eat some berries. Equip, hold left mouse button, and there we go. Now the ship building tool is what you use to move these objects around. Now we will want to have this uh, inside, just to keep it away, and it's good enough for now. Then we will need a helm. Now the casing is what defines it, so I want it to be lead casing. The rest is really unimportant, so I'm going to do that in iron. So, to lower the weight as much as possible without actually building it in iron. There we go. This is going to be one heavy ship, man. <laughs> but lead is really strong, so it's not a bad thing. Come on. What happened? Oh, okay, I placed it. Alright. It just disappeared. If you chose to move something you don't want to move, and you're afraid you won't be able to put it back where you found it, just change the tool and it will automatically let go. Now, I did not mean to place that there, because I want to have that up here. Also, from old habit, I want to have it placed a little bit on the left side. So it's, uh, when that day comes, I can have a cannon on the right. This is cool. This will be where everything happens. We will be controlling our ship from here. And now we want to have a sail that is easily accessible from the rudder, from the helm. The sail needs 100. Oh, it used to need 200. Let's make the heaviest we can. Craft that. Now, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but the thing was falling down pretty fast. I would never build my shipbuilding base on a slope. I would build it in the bottom. Ooh, another, another ship. A good ship. I would build it on the bottom of um, 
like a ditch or something so that anything that started rolling stayed within the bubble. If it rolls out of the bubble, it is lost forever. Just know that. There we go, and this is the basics. We have the core to get lift, and we have the sail to get propulsion, and we have the helm to make it go. We could add an engine, because I start with an engine, because I uh, um, was a founder from uh, the beta period, but let's go, let's go as is. We would also, to protect ourselves from pirates, put th stuff on the sides of the ship, but this ship is not worth protecting. Ooh, perfect timing with the sunrise. Now, when you're in the helm and you want to go, shift takes you up. If you hold shift while you leave the rudder, your ship keeps going up. You see that indicator going up there? Perfect. Ah, beautiful man. This is when the game begins. We can go anywhere, do anything. Ooh, really good winds. And we're flying. So, I hope this um, was interesting. I uh, hope you have a lot of fun playing World to Drift, and I hope to see you on the server. Have a nice one.